for government, this is the make or break time to make the most important decisions to save or destroy the economy of the country. Hopefully, they'll save it. But to you, what are your expectations coming out of such a meeting? Thanks once again, Raymond. I believe that these are quite difficult times for anybody steering um, the economic affairs of this country um, because of the happenings in recent times. In Ghana, we are dealing with significant depreciation of the currency, which we were expecting to improve, but it appears the raging war in Russia and Ukraine is also having a school of on fuel prices with important effects on the exchange rate. So for me, um, we are looking at it in two um, different angles. On the monetary side, we are expecting that the Monetary Policy Committee will come up with some tightening measures. Um, so for example, um, to control the rate of inflation, 15.7% is the highest we have had since October 2016. Um, so indeed, we expect that they'll come out with policies, for example, to increase the prime rate to try to um, control the demand pressures that are happening on, on that side. On the fiscal, that is the government side, we expect that yes, something ought to be done. So for example, um, we know that government is in a very tight fiscal space because of our inability to generate enough revenue and so there is always the call for um, government to be innovative, to widen the tax net. Um, that is the argument for the e-levy, which um, comes with a lot of issues because of probably um, its negative effects it could have on our ability to digitize and move towards a more um, um, a digitized um, economy where we are moving away from cash. So indeed, we expect that something would happen. And on the back of high prices of um, of food, um, oil, and the prices of um, fuel on our market, we would expect that something would happen in the form of probably removal of some of the levies and taxes that are on the fuel prices to push in the ordinary Ghanaian um, so in doing this on one breath, we expect that government will push in um, the Ghanaian because of the hardship we are currently facing. But government, on the other hand, also has a very tight budget. So how does it work? Government would approach um, the IMF only when we are having significant challenges with our balance of payment um, position. At the moment, as a stance, based on reported reserves by the Bank of Ghana, we don't um, see a dire situation there. But we are uh, sort of going there in the sense that the depreciation of the currency does not seem to be um, taking um, a better turn yet, particularly on the back that, I mean, recently, I think a day or two, the U.S. Federal Reserve, for example, is increasing its interest rate. And that could have another significant negative shock because people would want to move into the U.S. market to invest. And that could further deteriorate the depreciation currency we are facing. So, yes, um, in a nutshell, these are some of the process and the things that we expect uh, the Monetary Policy Committee and um, cabinet to come up with measures to try to steer the affairs of the economy in these turbulent times.